Welcome back. Well, ahead of Mental Health Awareness Month, a new series takes on the topic of supporting a friend who is struggling. Earlier, I caught up with the stars of Big Mood, Nicola Coughlin and Lydia West. Maggie, my number one bestie. You're doing better. I'm having the best week. Am I old school? Ready to come back and do a talk for their little drama club? Isn't that cute? These are teenagers. They'll find your Instagram and make fun of your selfies. Nicola, Lydia, I'm so excited to be chatting with you both today. Thank you so much for taking the time. We're huge fans of the both of you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Of course. Well, Nicola, I want to come to you first. You've taken on a lot of different roles in your career, as we all know. How did you prepare to play Maggie? This is a totally different role. A hundred percent. It's so Camilla who wrote the show was one of my best friends. And people often ask her, like, how did you audition? How, you know, what drew you to the script? I'm like, no, no, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> she would tell me, like, way before the script was even written, she was like, I'm doing a show and you're going to be in it. And I was like, okay, how is that going to work? And trying to tell your agent when you're like, oh yeah, no one's like commissioned this. It's not in any channel. It's not, you know, all of that stuff. But it, like, I have such faith in her. She's an incredible writer. I've known her such a long time. And yeah, thankfully the script was good. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, we're so excited to see you in this role. Um, Lydia, I want to come to you too. Your character wears a lot of different hats. I can't even imagine trying to encompass multiple people, multiple hats, multiple characters like this. Was this challenging acting wise? Uh, no, I think I, I always say like, my job is very easy if you just like good writing yeah all i do is learn the lines that would really sounds really bad but i think when your script is so good and i knew this character from reading the script i knew who this character was because i know eddie's and i live in that part of london and i have somewhat been that person so it was very easy to tap into and she speaks like me and she hangs out in the same places and it's just like our London like reading the yeah. script I was like this is our London and I want to be part of it so I put a lot of the kind of good character work down to the script because it was so well written and Camilla is so amazing that it just made my job easy all I did was learn the lines and then feel them really and yeah. that was easy to do because it was all there on the page Wow, you guys are amazing. You make it seem so easy, which is so incredible. And obviously the writing uh, lends to itself and making it a little bit easier for you. Now for both of you, obviously friendship is a main thread in this series, so important even when things get tough. So what do you feel this says about who you let into your life? I know a lot of our viewers are gonna be really resonating with that message. So what do you guys think? I mean, it's, 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 it's an interesting one. I think like they have such a beautiful friendship and it's so nice how much they adore one another. But I think it's, it's such a thing of like, you realize how codependent they are and it's such a danger mm. in so many relationships, whether it be, you know, platonic or romantic, it's very dangerous to put all your eggs in one basket, trust one person with everything. Mm. And I think you see how that can become toxic. Which is sad because you can tell that they adore one another, mm -hmm. but they rely on each other, I think, a little too much. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Would you agree? I mean, what do you think, Lydia? Is it the same for you? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, um, I think, especially towards the end of the series, you you kind of think, think where, where are they going to go? And hopefully, if, if there's a second season, it's kind of... A, navigating what happens next really and i know mm -hmm. kind of going into your 20s your 30s there's such huge life shifts and i personally have had some of these kind of similar friendships to this in my mm -hmm. in my late 20s where you do just kind of go your separate ways See, there's there's like this this state in the road where you can kind of go separately or align in your if like, you, your values and your morals are the same. And I think for Eddie and Maggie, it's figuring out, like, are they gonna go their separate ways or are they gonna come back together? And maybe just a shift in the friendship needs to happen. So I just think, I think a lot of people will be able to resonate with that, especially in female friendships. And I just love that it's centered around female friendships because so yeah. much of, uh, of, of of drama about and comedy about the, the shift from 20 to 30 is about romantic partnerships. Mm -hmm. um, and not doesn't really touch upon friendship as much. 
Yeah, I would completely agree. Well, ladies, in the last 30 seconds here, I have to ask because I know our viewers are at home are dying to know, are you guys just great friends? I mean, it seems like you are, but yeah. just like yeah. in person. <laughs> it's so nice. Like it, it, it's really, it's a privilege. Like I work with so many nice people on different jobs, but it's rare that you just like form true deep friendships. And like this whole cast, I have to say, we're all we're very much dead. in love with one yeah. another, which is, and we have a WhatsApp group, which is called, I would actually love to have you over. <laughs> I would love to actually have you over. And it yeah. pays homage to episode two, Love Actually. But yeah. Cause I literally made it. I, I, unlike Maggie, I love to host a dinner party and to cook for people. So yeah, <laughs> we have a bunch. Did you invite my ex-boyfriend to my non-consensual birthday party for a business meeting? Did you open the door to the rat hotel? Even this rat deserves love. <laughs>